get to this point here. He may be climbing to the top position, he may not, but I get my knee and my elbow connected. Make sure, guys, that you don't fall into the trap of just pushing yourself all the way away, moving your shoulders too far, because at this point, I don't have his knee line anymore and he can escape that leg way too easily. If we want to counter, as opposed to just purely escape, then we have to play a little bit closer to the fire, which means I'm gonna stay closer to my opponent because the line between him having me and me having him is pretty fine, right? But if I move too far away, okay, I feel safer, but I don't have any attacks on him. So keep my elbow and my forearm wedged against his hip, turn my hip, move my hips just enough that I can get my knee inside, but don't move your shoulders. Once my hip is in position and my leg is in position, now my shoulders can move. And like we talked about, we can now decide if we want to use this for a pass or we want to use this for a leg attack. Now we did some basic leg attacks in the last couple of weeks. But once we get to this point, a lot of the time your opponents are looking to run. And that's just very, very common. Now, like we talked about, of course, we can start going after some of our basic outside field of offense. But we have to expect that they're going to start creating a rotational threat uh, as we do that. If that's the case, however, we get into this position here and I do want to continue to attack my opponent, I do not have to use the threat of the pass purely to pass. Because if I'm here and I'm starting to pass this leg over and he's starting to think, okay, I'm just going to make sure that as he comes up, that I'm not going to allow him to get that leg turned over because, like we talked about, I want to wind up here so I come up all the way into my leg drag position. If he is like, oh, okay, so he's doing a basic leg entry and he's going to do a basic pass thread off of it, and I'm just going to make sure that I shrimp and I cut my hips hard as I'm coming up. Okay. And I'll go right back. The nice thing about that is because he had to post his feet on the mat, strip his hips away, he's not able to defend himself very effectively, so I'm going to have a pretty substantial head start on the 50 50 offense. If your opponent's a good 50 50 player, there's a conversation to be had there, of course. We can get way into the weeds on that. But a lot of the time when he is in shrimp and turn mode, his feet are not in a position to defend themselves, and that's where you can pretty quickly catch that, that heel off of that energy. So from this point, we just passed that leg over. And he's thinking, oh, he's going to come up and try to pass. So he's looking to create that space. Cool. Shoot that leg through. We are already right back into our 50 feet offense. What I want you guys to think about is outside hand, block the outside leg. I'm already on my outside hip, so I'm not going to worry about trying to turn in to face him. I just want to make sure that he doesn't have a free shot to bring that leg over. Not the end of the world if it does. I'm going to separate it. So let's make sure we make it hard for him at the very least. Catch the outside of the hip. I'll be heel with my right hand. Once I've got a head start, look him in the eyes. Ready? Go. So, from the beginning, somehow he got to my back, probably because we were baiting so we could get to the legs. We start to play here. I decide I don't want to attack here directly, so we start to threaten the pass. I leave him a little bit of space so that he can shrimp. Sweet, thank you. And now I'm immediately going left hand to the outside leg, making sure that that's in the way. Couch the outside heel with my right hand. Now we're here. Cup and saucer, guys. Right hand cups the heel. Left hand with a five finger grip cups the forearm. As always, get a tight control, but don't rip on your opponent's leg. Be nice and gentle with this. Remember, when you're finished, ideally, I would like to be on the inside heel, or I'm sorry, on the inside hand for a 50 50 finish like this. I didn't have that luxury from here. So sometimes you will get a free bonus tap. Just by sitting this way, that tells me that my opponent isn't all that comfortable in the entanglement or he's just too tired to do that directly. Most of the time, expect that he will start rotating because I'm pulling him in the direction of his escape. You guys see where I wind up here? I allow him to rotate halfway and then we stop here. See where my hips are in relation to his knee? His knee is directly underneath my hips, which means I can drop my weight bang, hard into his hips, which of course we would never do to our teammates. But when we keep that grip, that does horrible things to your opponent's knee, and his rotation is no longer effective. So, keep that in mind. Because of being on the outside hip, you will have to rotate halfway through to get the finish if your opponent's any good. Just remember, that doesn't mean you spin willy nilly. We go halfway, and then don't play. One more time. Turn the head, create your frame, hips away, knee elbow, create your connection. Uh, do I want to attack now? Do I want to pass? Mm, maybe. Let's see. I'm going to give him some. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Shoot that leg all the way through. Lock the outside hip. Catch the heel. Look into the eyes. Catch. Maybe you get your bonus finish there. 
If he starts defending, which he probably will, we go to our knees, we create our lock. This is my favorite kind of long Nike guy, but I'm sure you don't have to do that. He predicts what the top of his, but let's make it tight, and I should take next to Questions, comments on that, guys? Like I said, we now have three different finishes at three different levels of experience for the same exact finish. Pick the one you're feeling the most comfortable with or that you feel like you need the most work on. That's what I want you to focus on for the rest of our time tonight. Questions, comments? Y'all, if you have trouble, guys, one, three. Thanks, sir.